Don't you love getting mail? I do. It's like Christmas every time I open my door and there's a package on my doorstep. So the other day, I opened my door and found this. Oh boy, I'm so excited. I want to open it up and see what's inside. I haven't done an art subscription box in a while. And Palpful Packs sent me this, so I'm really excited. Thank you, Palpful Packs. Let's open this up. Whoa, dude, look at this. It's like a bunch of green happiness. Oh, what is this? Oh my word, what is going on here? Aqua ink. Oh, watercolor ink? For real, this is watercolor ink. Wow, okay. Yellow, oh my goodness. This is gonna be exciting. <laughs> Let's see what else is in here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Like the entire rainbow, whatever. This is awesome. This is right up my alley, cause I'm a watercolor girl. <gasps> yes, this blue is beautiful. Okay, wow. What is this? A graphics fine liner. That's really cool. Oh, I'm excited to open all of these. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Oh, what? They even gave me paint brushes. Ooh, these are Princeton brushes, so they're like really good. That's awesome. Yay. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Mixed media paper. I am liking this. Wow, okay. Ooh, this is nice. Yeah. This is really thick, really nice. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. Okay, so this just outlines everything that's in this box. All right, we have the Aqua Inks by Marb Marabu, Marabu Graphics Aqua Ink. Eight colors. Ooh, it's light fast too, that's great. Marabu Graphics Black Fine Liner Set of Four, what? I didn't realize there were four markers in here. Whoa, okay, girl, I'm excited now. Princeton Artist Brushes Velvet Touch Variety. Wow, okay. Six flat and three round, really? Oh, the size is <laughs> six. Okay, I get it now, size six, size three. I <laughs> was like six brushes, wow, that's really generous. Okay, that's really cool. Strathmore 400 Series Mix Media Pad, we got that. Okay, I'm ready to make some art. Let's do this! Ooh, yeah. What do I draw? Oh my goodness. Palletful Packs Prompt and Challenge, what? Hold it, okay. Make a drawing or painting based on your interpretation of the prompt, post it to social media, and hashtag it with palletful prompt and palletful packs. Hmm. Week one is jellyfish. Well, as I'm filming this video, we are in the first week of May. We should do a jellyfish. Okay. That's why there is a jellyfish right here. Oh. Wow, guys. Look at the rainbow of colors. We literally have every color we need here. This is gonna be fun. I'm excited to test these out. Okay, I think we're gonna swatch things. Test out this little flat brush here. This is red. Ooh, look at that. It's like a pinkish red. Let's do vermilion. Ooh. That always sounds so sophisticated. Vermilion. <laughs> okay, ooh, there's a bubble in the cap. Should I pop it? I'm gonna pop it. I'm gonna pop it. <laughs> Ooh, this is really pigmented. Bold red. <gasps> this blue is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha I very much enjoy that color. <laughs> well, all of these inks are really bright, and I'm happy with that. All right, let's open this fine liner graphics box. Ooh, it says there's a 0.2 millimeters, 0.4, 0.8, and a brush pen. That's cool. 
it says the size right on the end. Whoa, this is a really sturdy nib. Oh my, I like that. And this is 0.4. Wow, okay. 0.8. Dude, look at you go. This is nice. And this is a brush pen. Ooh, you can do various thicknesses. Ooh, this is, oh, wow, this is a really flexible brush pen. Like, wow, I want to write my name. I am ready to draw. And our prompt is a jellyfish, so we're going to try this. Ooh, it dries really fast. The one I just did is dry. Get out. All right, tabula rasa, blank slate. Let's see, what can we do here? Okay, I have a question of the day for you guys. Have any of you ever used these inks before? Because I had honestly never heard of them until I pulled them out of this box. So I'm pretty excited to try them. Ooh, you know what? These are watercolors, so I want to test something. It says watercolor ink. Does that mean you can reactivate it? Curious. <gasps> you can! <gasps> oh my! Okay, I really think this is sweet now. I didn't even think to try that earlier. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love watching those ocean documentaries. Um, like the Blue Planet is so fun to watch. I really love that. I mean, Planet Earth in general is just really fun, but I love just looking for the deep sea documentaries where they're showing the creatures that live down by like the methane vents really deep in the ocean. I'm so into that. Like it's one of my favorite things. I actually, um, I recently watched a documentary on plastic in the ocean and it was so moving that I have been trying to cut out single use plastics. So for the past couple months, what I've done is I bought reusable straws so I can just like put one in my car. It's hard to remember to use a reusable straw though. Like I can say no and go without a straw but sometimes I forget still <laughs> so I'm working on that. But I'm, I'm making an effort so that's what matters to me. <laughs> I also bought some reusable grocery bags and sometimes if I forget them, I'll just go like without a grocery bag. But again, sometimes I also just forget. I'm working on it. It's hard. <laughs> and I also did away with like plastic cling wrap altogether. So we use um, these like reusable beeswax wrap things. It's really cool actually. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about this painting and the supplies I used. So this ink here, you can see this pan of paint next to my hand and there's yellow, magenta, and blue there. I diluted it and then in one of the pans, I mixed some of the diluted magenta and blue to get a really pretty purple. And then I created that gradient that you just saw on the jellyfish because I wanted it to feel like it was glowing. And then I made the bell bright yellow because I don't know, I don't see yellow jellyfish too often. And I thought it would be really pretty. So now I'm just blending out that same gradient in the nematocysts and making it bright, colorful, and happy. I think he looks really cute with the little smile. And I don't know, would you wanna give him a high five? knowing you would get stung by something that cute. Hmm. I don't think that's worth it, but it was really fun to make him look that friendly. <laughs> so I was going for more of an illustrative but abstract vibe with this. 
I guess before I go into details on that, let me talk about the the way this ink feels. It's very different than a lot of inks that I have tried in the past. And I think it's specifically because this is a watercolor ink. Have any of you guys used a watercolor ink before? Let me know. See, I felt like this ink felt a little thicker than your average ink, you know? And I think it's just because it is watercolor and it's highly pigmented. It also feels a little more slippery than normal. Like it just really slips across the paper. But it's really cool that I can kind of forget where I am and then go back and reactivate this ink with water. Um, it really feels like I'm using watercolor. So that's really nice. So the abstract portion of this painting. Let's talk about that, shall we? <laughs> I decided to outline everything with these fine liners and do really thick lines around the jellyfish because I want them to pop out because your lady's got plans for the background, okay? You can see that this paint in the background is kind of blotchy and that's kind of on purpose. So I've seen some artists on Instagram do like blotchy watercolor backgrounds and stuff and then they outline each little color inconsistency and it looks so cool it's like a very abstract thing and i've always wanted to try this so i was like you know what this is water i'm gonna do this so i kind of practiced the technique on the jellyfish too because it felt like fitting <laughs> and i really liked it so i was like okay yeah we're clear we can do this in the water as well and i made the water really light up top like the sunlight is hitting it and maybe that's why the bell of the jellyfish is like bright yellow. <laughs> and then down at the bottom of the ocean, it is dark, less light is coming through the water. And I thought it was really cool to do that. It feels really fun and playful. And honestly, I could probably make this into a coloring page because it just kind of gives me that vibe. Like I would color this in a coloring book. Would you guys? I don't know. Should I make this into a coloring page? Let me know. If you guys want it as a coloring page, maybe I'll put it in my shop as a coloring page. We'll see. Anyway, this was really fun and I enjoyed trying out everything in this box. And yeah, let me know if you guys do art subscription boxes. I think they're really fun. It lets you use supplies you've never tried before. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye everybody!